EFAs. Could it be maybe we don't need our Motrin, but we just need to be, have EFAs? Check it out. Try it. Ultimate EFAs. Truth, uh, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. The circulatory system is especially prone to inflammatory health issues. You guys, heart disease is an inflammatory issue. Not a cholesterol issue. No. Boneheaded. It's not a cholesterol issue. It's an inflammatory issue. Take that to the bank. Take that to your cardiologist. It's an inflammatory issue, not a cholesterol issue. Your strategy for dealing with heart disease is to take care of inflammation. This is something you want to think about if you're on a blood thinner, which are among the deadliest of all drugs, and that's saying something. They may be the deadliest of all drugs. It's hard to say what, when it comes to killing you, it's hard to say which drugs are worse, but at or near the top of the list, at or near the top of the list are Coumadin, Warf or also known as warfarin. The new ones are a little bit better for you. I guess if that's I could say better for you. They're a little less toxic, maybe. I don't even know if I could say that. Plavix, Pradaxa, Eliquis. If you're on a blood thinning drug, your doctor may have told you not to take an omega-3. Why? Because omega-3s are blood thinners. And he's afraid that the, uh, you'll have excess blood thinning. I have an idea. How about if we just take the omega-3? How about if we just make sure we're absorbing our omega-3? This is from uh, this is from the package insert. Or no, this is from, I'm sorry, this is from the University of Maryland Medical Center. Quote, you should not use omega-3 fatty acid supplements, including EPA and DHA and ALA, that's your main ones, without first talking to your health care provider. And why is that? Well, it's because, quoting again, Omega-3 fatty acids may increase the effects of blood thinning medications, including aspirin, warfarin, Plavix. While the combination of aspirin and omega-3 fatty acids may actually be helpful, yes, they should only be taken together under the guidance of a healthcare provider. Why? Because omega-3s thin the blood. Yes, they thin the blood. Why? They're anti-inflammatory. So what does that tell us? Blood clotting is inflammation. We have an epidemic of blood clotting. We have an epidemic of inflammation in the blood, of circulatory inflammation issues. And it's killing us at a rate, way, at a way higher rate than cancer, which is the second leading cause of death in this country. Heart disease is the leading cause of death and misery in this country, and it is an inflammatory health issue in the blood. That means EFAs. I'm not sitting here telling you this is a panacea, by the way. I'm just telling you cells eat the stuff. Not only do cells eat EFAs, EFAs actually go into the genes. EFAs are the quintessential epigenetic factors. Yes, you can actually, when you take your ultimate EFAs, you're going to change your genes. How do you like that? That's pretty powerful stuff, you guys. That's a pretty powerful nutritional supplement. And you know what else? That's a pretty powerful product in general. There, that's, you can take a product that will get your blood healthier. Forget nutritional supplement. Just a product that can do that. Ultimate EFAs. Check it out. Brightsideben.com. Pharmacistben.com. Criticalhealthnews.com. We're coming back with more good health information and your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right. We're back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben, and we got a full board. Uh, we got all open lines for you at 844-236-6010. If we don't get calls, I'll read some of these letters, which I've been meaning to do for a while. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or anything we're talking about, or if you want to contribute to the conversation, have you been reading about the Zika virus? Please do not fall for that malarkey. Remember the West Nile virus? Remember uh, Ebola earlier this year or, or uh, last year? Ebola virus, West Nile virus, bird flu. That was going to devastate cities. I remember this bird flu. Whole cities were going to go under. Uh, it was going to be the end of the world, bird flu. I remember swine flu when I was growing up. Do you guys notice this? <laughs> oh, and by the way, drug companies are working. You, will, you should be very reassured to know drug companies are working really hard to find a vaccine for the Zika virus, which is, doesn't even have, doesn't even, for most people aren't even going to know they got affected by the Zika virus. 80% of people who get the Zika virus don't even know they get it. It's that mild. 
and the other 20% who, who are symptomatic, they'll have a little minor sniffles. They'll get a fever. They'll have a little, some cold symptoms, and then it goes away within a 24 to 48 hours. And it's out of your system in less than a week. But we need a vaccine for this. Every time they start, whenever something's being pounded, you always want to you always want to be looking behind the scenes. Anytime you hear something on the news over and over and over and over again, and that's what it is with the Zika virus now, at least in the scientific community, you always want to be a little suspicious. That's my experience. What's the message behind the message there? What are they trying to get us to think? What, what kind of meme crafting is going on by these wicked sorcerers that do these things? Unbelievable. All right. It, you know, it's one thing when it's politics, but when it's not our health. That just ticks me off. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, head over to pharmacistben.com or brightsideben.com. And uh, got some calls here. Hang tight. I, want to, I, I got all these letters I've been meaning to get to. We'll get your calls here in just a second. Uh, real quick, Ann writes about a bacteria called H. pylori. Some of you may have heard of. Now, H. pylori... And for that matter, all bacteria work primarily with, like Velcro. This is one of the ways they work. They Velcro themselves to parts of our body, cells. They Velcro themselves to cells. And this Velcro cell connection that bacteria have, let's just say H. pylori, which is a bacteria that affects the digestive system, and it's a natural bacteria in our body, by the way, it overgrows and affects the digestive tract by sticking or Velcroing itself to our digestive cells. And this Velcro effect can be deactivated. Do you think that's helpful? You better believe it is. So how is that Velcro effect deactivated to prevent or reduce the effects of H. pylori infection, or for that matter, bladder infections or respiratory infections or pretty much any infections they can be slimed away you know, just like in Ghostbusters the movie Ghostbusters they can you can slime away bacteria you can slime away this or, or deactivate this velcro adhesive kind of stickiness that bacteria have to our cells with slime oh where do you get slime in seaweed algae mucilaginous jelly plants like aloe and noni this is how they work. The, mu the, 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 the sugars that give aloe, for example, or, or your Fucoid Z, and this is how the Fucoid Z works, by the way. If you looked at seaweed, if you, you've seen seaweed and it's wet, it has a slimy nature to it. Like aloe has a sort of gooey, slimy nature, jelly nature. That slime, when you eat it, the slime is actually sugars polysaccharides, technically, they call them. And that slime will slime away H. pylori. And that slime will slime away E. coli if you have a bladder infection and pseudomonas bacteria if you have a lung infection. It has a sliming effect and it rinses them away. That's how they work. This, which is why the Fucoid Z is one of the all-time great all-around uh, multifunctional nutritional products. That's why I talk about it. You know, I don't talk a lot about all 4,000 longevity products. I talk about 10 of them or so. And one of the most important ones is the Fucoid Z because of its ability to slime things away. You got an H. pylori infection, use the Fucoid Z. That's the bottom line. And that's, uh, that was Ann who wrote that to, uh, she wrote that to criticalhealthnews.com, which is my blog that I'm doing with George Norrie. Hope Ann is listening. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Andy in Texas. What's up, Andy? Welcome to the Bright Side. Oh, Andy, I can't hear you, man. We got a bad connection. Are you on speaker? You got me on a speaker phone? Can you hear me a little bit better yeah, now? Yeah, that's way better. Hey, what's going on, man? Okay, so I'm just basically calling. Um, I've been kind of, I've been listening for a long time already. So okay. Over two years. and. Are you and learning so, stuff? Um, Are you getting smarter? Oh, definitely. Of course. Good yeah, deal. Of course. Um, type two diabetic. Uh, been taking off medication one time all one time already with with, nice. with listening to the show and reading did here you, and there. And did you fall off the wagon? A little bit, yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. all right. No worries, no worries. How old are you, Andy? Uh, twenty nine. Okay, so you got youth on your side. That's, that's good news and bad news. 29 is a key. I think I talked about this a couple days ago. 28, 29, this is a key juncture in your life. It could go either way at this point. Have you noticed, like, the last couple of years, things are happening to your body that didn't happen when you were a kid, and you can't do the same things that you used to be able to do when you were a kid without having effects? 
Yeah, especially when when I do any sport activity and stuff like that, you feel it a little bit more oh, than you. Right? Than I, well, yeah. guess what? Yeah. It don't get better. Trust me, yeah. as somebody who's twice as old or almost twice as old, it doesn't yeah. get better unless you take care of yourself. And so yeah. things that we use, this is important for everybody listening. I know I got a lot of people listening in their tw late 20s, early 30s, and this is important. This is a key juncture in your life where, uh, for better or worse, the decisions you make now are going to impact how your body takes shape in your, thir in your 40s, in your 30s, in your 40s, your 50s, for the rest of your life. So, so now's the time, my friend. Uh, for diabetes, if you fall off the wagon, drink water. All right? That's the first Excellent. thing. It, lots of it. You'll fluidize your blood. And by okay. when we talk about elevated blood sugar, what we mean is concentration of blood sugar. So by fluidizing your blood, by increasing the blood volume, the proportion of sugar will go down. It's just math. You follow me? Okay. You lower your blood sugar yeah. constant just by drinking water, right? And that's non-toxic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is now. it okay for me to give you a quick uh, a quick rundown on on how I how I got my blood sugar back down to normal? And, yeah, absolutely. And Abs I'd love to okay. hear that. So I started off with the fast. I did, I did, uh, I did actually did a 21 day fast. My weight has always been fine. I've always been lean. What's your height um, to at, What's your height to weight? I'm I'm five nine and I weigh two four uh, 140. Okay, gotcha. And so, did you lose okay. a lot of weight when you fasted, or that's a long time not, to fast? Not, not really, not really. Nice. My weight stayed my weight stayed pretty good. I the only thing that I used as a supplement. Um, that wasn't considered just a liquid diet was uh, a supplement called raw meal, and I would just take a little bit of that in the morning, and then I would just juice. You were fine. For the rest you were of the fine. Day, and I was, yeah, I was it, good for 21 days. You didn't eat food. You just drank. No, I just cucumber, kale, uh, a little awesome. bit of carrot. Yeah, your blood and sugar I, probably dropped like a stone. I'll bet in three yeah, weeks you dropped yeah. like a stone, right? Yeah. Uh, hang on. I want to finish up. Don't go away, Andy, because this is good okay. stuff, all right? Don't go away. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. I'm telling you, folks, listen to what this guy's saying. This is what I've been telling you. Diabetes is an eating issue, and any doctor who dares to put you on a poison prescription drug without advising you of this should be ashamed of himself. I don't know how they live with themselves. This is Andy. No doctor. 21-day fast. Dro blood sugar drops like a stone. All right, we're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Andy in Texas. So um, i got a bunch of calls I want to get to, Andy. But, but finish up here because this is a cool story. You fasted for 21 days just on kale and veggies, and your blood sugar dropped like a stone, which obviously it's going to do. That's awesome. And then what happened? So when I was first diagnosed, my A1C, it was crazy high. Um, and I was having some symptoms, but not, not all, just mostly thirsty and frequent urination which are the main one, but my A1C was 14.2. And then I started listening to you, and I took a lot of a lot of the information that you share on a daily basis, and I, I, I just, my goal was like, I need to be off medication. I've got a, a three and a five-year-old. I need to be around for a wow. really long time. And so I did the 21-day fast, and then after that, I slowly started to incorporate some, some proteins, with salads mostly i stayed away from grains i stayed away from carbs was it hard to know, do did you have carbs. to use a lot of, did you have to use a lot of willpower after about after about after about five days of fasting it was pretty easy after that nice um, nice so it was pretty smooth i had energy after I, I i would get to my mom's house and she's got a bar in front of her kitchen and i i tell her she'd be like you need to eat you need to eat and i tell her you know what mom <laughs> I've got so much energy. I oh. feel I can just. You don't want to come down. Yeah, you knew food would, yeah. food would make you come down, right? Yeah. And and so I know exactly what you mean. Sugars, yeah, my blood sugars were in the 70s or 80s consistently the whole time. And, so what the heck um, happened? What happened to you, Andy? Exactly. <laughs> so when I went to the doctor, um, they, they, they did an A1C and cholesterol and all that stuff that that they try to sell to you and my a1c was 5.6 in three months that's from 14 that's unbelievable 14.2 yeah that's mind-blowing i you should be a commercial man all right so and how can we like, help you what that's did you the, do 
That no, it's well, amazing. My question is, my question is now. Okay, right now, right now, they're 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 talking about putting me back on metformin, and and right. I don't want to do that. Don't and you know so, exactly what to do, Andy? You know yeah. exactly. You don't need and me. So, my main question is, 